Welcome back to another episode of the AEW Universe Mode here on the channel. I know it's been a little over a week since the last one, so let's run down a little bit of a recap before we jump into the show. Kazuchika Okada is the AEW World Champion. He is also the International Champion, AEW Women's Champion, Athena. The Women's Championship, I changed up again. A fun fact about this, if you change the name of a championship on your show and you exit out of Universe Mode and go back in, it will glitch your whole universe mode and crash your game. So, luckily, I have two backups of this AEW universe mode because I don't trust this game, and this is why. So, this is actually the last backup that I had, which actually reminds me I should probably go make another backup of this universe mode while I'm thinking about it. All right, so like I was saying, Athena is the World Women's Champion. After I change the championship, I think that this new Women's Championship looks really good. Penta is your Continental Champion, the AEW World Tag Team Champions, FTR. We've got the AEW Trios Champions, The Ritual. Of course, this is also with Darby Allin. And then we've got the TNT Champion, Brian Cage, who won the match on Collision in an Ultimate X to win the TNT Championship. All right, so here we are with our show. Let's go over our matches and then let's jump in. First up... MJF with FTR takes on Darby Allen with The Ritual in our first match. Next up, Brian Cage defends his TNT Championship in a fatal four-way tables match. Wardlow, Powerhouse Hobbs, Brody King, and Brian Cage. In anticipation for our cruiserweight... Why did my voice just... In anticipation for our, in anticipation for our cruiserweight tournament that starts next week on Dynamite, Orange Cassidy takes on the returning Jack Perry. And I just want to say that I'm recording this before Dynamite, where they're going to show the CM Punk footage and between him and Jack Perry's fight. First of all, who gives a fuck anymore? Second of all, I'm going to make a prediction and just say nothing's going to happen in that video. It's going to be completely lame, and it's going to become a laughing stock of the internet within minutes. But anyways, we have Orange Cassidy versus Jack Perry. And after last week, where Seth Rollins interfered and took out Kenny Omega and Will Ospreay, unfortunately, he injures Kenny Omega and Will Ospreay in that attack. So we have to crown a new number one contender to face Okada for his world championship and the international championship at Dynasty. So our main event of the evening, Brian Danielson, who's been on a winning streak, will take on Continental Champion Penta for the Continental Championship. This is also a number one contenders match. So whoever wins this match will face Okada at Dynasty for the World and International Championship. And here we go. Meet Madness for the TNT Championship. You might notice the arena looks a little bit different. That's because after last week, little Seth Rollins invasion... This week's Dynamite comes to you from Daly's Place. Hard four on there by Powerhouse Hobbs. This Dynamite comes to you from Daly's Place to avoid any outside interference in our matches. As Powerhouse Hobbs sends the champion to the corner. Hard back elbow. Now Brody King with Powerhouse Hobbs pushes him away. Leg Lariat. Wardlow sending Brian Cage over the ropes and going to follow him to the outside now. One thing to remember here, this is not an elimination match. This is the first person to put their opponent through a table. So everyone has to be aware in this match at all times. Wardlow now lifting the champion up. Powerhouse Haas misses a splash. Wardlow springboard forearm. Sorry, Brody King. Now Brody King. Powerhouse Hobbs Irish whip. Going to try to go for a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Hobbs with an Irish whip of his own. Hobbs jumps over, showing the agility in the fucking jeans. And now Wardlow is going to go for that table. First time we've seen the table introduced in this match. Powerhouse Hobbs, the world's strongest slam. Now Powerhouse Hobbs going to head to the top turnbuckle. Some unusual offense by these competitors. Hobbs, shoulder tackle Wardlow and Brody King. Powerhouse Hobbs in control of this match. He's got to get that table set up, though. And now going to Irish whip Brody King again. Brody King going to stop it this time. Knee to the guts. Now Brian Cage with the table. Wardlow takes it away. Standing Frankensteiner. Now he goes after Hobbs. Hobbs reverses crossbody onto that flattened table. Now Hobbs with the table. Now Hobbs setting the table up. Going for Wardlow. Cage is in the corner. Wardlow with that standing Hurricane Rana again. And now Brody King going to introduce another table. Wardlow spears powerhouse Hobbs in the corner. Belly to belly just misses the table. Now Brian King with Brody Cade. 
I keep getting their names mixed up. Alabama Slam. And I am mistaken, folks. This is an elimination match. Brody King has been eliminated with an Alabama Slam. Wardlow up by Hobbs. Powerhouse Hobbs again in control of this match. Just as I say that, Brian Cage from behind with a suplex. Brian Cage again, another suplex. The machine is beginning to cook. Powerhouse Hobbs, though, throws him out of the ring. Wardlow going to let the other two fight as he sets up this table. Or maybe he's just going to stand there with it. It looks like he might just stand there with the table. That is correct, Wardlow. It is a tables match, but you have to put your opponent through the table. You cannot simply just hold the table. Now Powerhouse Hobbs grabs a trash can, but Brian Cage stops him. Now Brian Cage with the trash can. Somebody needs to come in and help Wardlow. I think he's he's forgotten everything. But fine dining and breathing. Off the ropes. Brian Cage with a spine buster. Powerhouse Hobbs from behind. World's strongest slam. Brody King's just hanging out still. Wardlow now with the table again. Just going to stare at the announcers with it. Powerhouse Hobbs. Powerbomb on the folded table. You can see the table has a crack in it. Wardlow quickly back to his feet, though. Brian Cage dropkick from behind. Both competitors squished in the turnbuckle. Now Brian Cage with the table. Now Powerhouse Hobbs setting up that table. Seems to be the only person in this match who knows how to use it. Wardlow and Brian Cage run into each other. And now some double teaming here from Brian Cage and Powerhouse Hobbs. Brian Cage picks up Hobbs. Doesn't go for the table, though. Might be a mistake as Hobbs fights out. And a spinning lariat by Brian Cage. And now Cage going to try to put Hobbs through the table. He's got him set up. Brian Cage, his second elimination in this match. Powerhouse Hobbs is eliminated. It is down to Wardlow and Brian Cage. And there is a lot of wood stacking up in the ring. Somebody's going to get a splinter. Brian Cage up. Wardlow, powerbomb. And now Wardlow with a trash can. Just going to take him out. And I think Powerhouse Hobbs and Brody King are just going to hang out. Wardlow again. Another powerbomb. And Brian Cage. Wardlow goes for another, but Brian Cage shoves him away. Wardlow with a knee to the gut. Reverses. Picks up Brian Cage. Spine buster. And Powerhouse Hobbs has finally decided to get out of the ring. But he's still just going to stand out here. This has turned into a lumberjack match. Another trash can thrown into the ring by Wardlow. Wardlow. Picking up Brian Cage, powerbomb position. And now Wardlow finally going for that another table. And he says, fuck it. He's not going to use the table. He's going to win the match without it. Wardlow again, not understanding the rules of a tables match. And I think, oh, has he learned? Nope, he hasn't learned it's a tables match. He's getting there, though. He picked the table up. He picked it up this time, at least. He thought about it. And Wardlow again going to pick up the table. I wonder if he knows it's a tables match, but he doesn't know how to set up the table. And Brian Cage lifts up Wardlow, Alabama, slam on the floor. Folks, this is why it pays to research the match before you go in. Wardlow could have just looked up on YouTube how to set up a table. Into the steps goes Brian Cage. Now Wardlow again. Does he know it? He doesn't know it. You have to use the legs, Wardlow. You have to use the legs on the table. And now Brian Cage heading over to the table to give Wardlow a quick tutorial. Wardlow says, I don't like tutorials. I always skip them. That's why you're in this position. Wardlow could have won this match if he hadn't have skipped the tutorials. And Brian Cage sit right into the apron by Wardlow. I think Brody King and Powerhouse Hobbs are hanging out because they're amazed that Wardlow doesn't know how to set up a table. Brian Cage now picking up the trash can. Wardlow under the ring one more time. Grabs a chair and bludgeons Cage with it. Wardlow, what's he doing? He goes past the chair. Is he looking for the table? Oh, my God. Can he do it? He can't do it. He just can't figure it out. It's too hard. Now Wardlow up on the shoulders. Going to fight his way out. Wardlow with Brian Cage. Powerbomb center of the ring. Wardlow now exits the ring. Where's he going? He's going for the table again. Dear God, help him. Wait. Wait a second. Wardlow puts the table in the ring. No way. No way. Brian Cage to his feet. Wardlow took too long. Brian Cage, sit out pile driver. Now Brian Cage sets up the table in the corner. Climbs up to the second rope. BME by Brian Cage. Brian Cage lifting up Wardlow. Wardlow floats behind. And now Wardlow going to throw Brian Cage in the corner. Wardlow is going to win the tables match without setting up a table. And he does. Wardlow is the TNT champion. Dude, what the fuck?
And Jack Perry immediately Hurricane Rana as we start off this cruiserweight exhibition match. Standing shooting star into the pin. Jack Perry wasting no time in his dynamite debut. And Jack Perry stomps on the arm of Orange Cassidy. And Jack Perry looking very intense after getting knocked out and or knock, knocked out by CM Punk. Stomping on the arm again of Orange Cassidy. Maybe trying to take out that orange punch that's been so effective for him. Orange Cassidy, springboard, tornado, DDT. Orange Cassidy with the Jeff Hardy leg drop to the gonads. I don't ever know why that move is legal, but Jack Perry quick on the offense, but Orange Cassidy quick to reverse. We're seeing some good action from this Cruiserweight exhibition match as Orange Cassidy goes into the cover and gets a two count near fall off that flapjack. This is what you can expect next week is Orange Cassidy at the top of the moonsault. Jack Perry removing the top turnbuckle. And now a step up tope. Who would have thought to win over wrestling fans? All you have to do is wrestle. And now sliced bread on the floor. Taking a page out of Brian Kendrick's book. Jack Perry now to the top. Orange Cassidy center of the ring. Jack Perry diving elbow misses. Orange Cassidy going to pick him up. Orange Cassidy. But Jack slips behind with a springboard. Into a wheelbarrow, bulldog. What a reversal by the scapegoat. And now the referee focused on that top turnbuckle. He just saw it. Jack Perry sliced bread. The referee can't count because Jack Perry has screwed himself over. Now referee in position. And Jack Perry will win the match after nearly... Wait, who is that? Kyle O'Reilly. And here we go, underway for the Continental Championship. Penta hits the ropes. Destroyer backbreaker. I don't even know what to call that. End of the cover. Danielson out before one. This match is not only for the Continental Championship, but the right to face Okada for both of his championships at Dynasty. Now Penta, Irish whip. Danielson reverses Irish whip. Floats under. Back elbow by Danielson. Penta quickly back to his feet with a super kick and drops Danielson. And Danielson showing it here with these brutal stiff kicks. Drops Penta to his feet. Danielson with these classic stiff kicks to the chest. And now he's going to follow it up. He might have knocked out the champion here. Lifts him to his feet. And it's going to toss him out of the ring. Danielson not going for the cover. Rare strategy you don't see often by Brian Danielson. Not usually a showboaty competitor. Brian Danielson's all about no wasted movement as he stomps out Penta on the floor. Arms trapped. Penta trying to get some offense. Danielson catches him with a knee. Into the stairs goes the champion. Danielson going to force Penta to get in the ring. Not going to break the count. I guess he's forced to now as Penta draws him in. Backstabber. He knew Danielson had to break the count or he would retain the title. And now has Danielson where he wants him into the LED barricade. And you can see that LED barricade did not bend one single inch. That was all Brian Danielson's back. Now from a seated position, suplex. Danielson now looking for another suplex. Starting to toss Pinta around. Pinta cannot afford to take these suplexes as Danielson... Legs trapped. Danielson now with Pinta to his feet. Irish whip. Both competitors thinking the same thing. Penta takes the advantage. Irish Whip catches Danielson wheelbarrow, but throws him. Now Penta tossing the competitor outside to the apron. What's he thinking? Penta pile driver to the floor. Penta might have just retained his championship. 
All he has to do is pin the challenger. Pinson not going for the cover after Brian Danielson gets pile driver to the floor. Foot stomp. Penta might have just retained and paved his way to the main event against Okada. But Danielson kicks out at two. Penta lifting Danielson to his feet. He should have took the pin after that pile driver. Penta's taking his chance in this match. He needs to pin Brian Danielson. Lifts him over Crucifix Powerbomb. Penta again not immediately into the cover after a big maneuver. Instead, deadlift German toss. Penta taking some time to show off here as Brian Danielson's gaining mo getting back to his feet. But Penta with another suplex. Danielson forced to roll out of the ring as Penta over the top. Danielson rolls in and dodges. Penta taking unnecessary risks in this match. Danielson now with Penta wrestling him to the ground. Looking for the label lock. Wrestles him into it. Penta is trapped. His foot is near the rope. But is he aware? Is he aware? And he will break the hold. Danielson quick into a kick, though. Penta is going to have to force a roll out of the ring here. Danielson into retreat. Penta again with the backstabber draws Danielson in. Both of these competitors are determined to face Okada at Dynasty. Off the turnbuckle, doing whatever it takes to win this Continental Championship. Outside the ring with these hard strikes. Penta drops to his knees. We're at a six count. Brian Danielson follows up. He's got to get Penta into the ring. Up to a seven count. Penta rolls back in the ring. Danielson again. That will break the count at eight. Penta with a sling blade. Rolls through with a drop kick. Both competitors spent. Nobody has anything left. Danielson runs in. Busaiko knee. Danielson crawls into the cover. Penta will kick out at 2.9. Crowd is going crazy. Penta now on the apron. Has to pull himself to his feet. Danielson follows and knocks him to the floor. Penta back in the ring. Danielson taunting him now. Danielson gets caught. Penta pump handle sits it out. Traps the arm. Referee into the cover. Danielson kicks out. Penta now. Trapping Danielson, getting frustrated now, just stomping him out. And that might have busted open the champion with a springboard body splash. And you can see the blood running down Brian Danielson's face after those stomps. Danielson, Penta runs in, knees in the corner. He might have just beaten Brian Danielson. Penta now goes to the second rope. Senton bomb into the cover. Penta has beaten Brian Danielson and will face Okada.